Yeah, it was pretty good, pretty special. Uh, I think the way they played just it makes you proud as a coach. Um, I think everyone can sit back regardless of the score and appreciate you know, for fellas who come together 10 days ago to be able to do that under pressure. So I think, uh, yeah, really, just a real great performance. Be the ball. Good everyone, welcome to episode 238 of Not The Footy Show. I'm Warwick Nicholson, that is Rob Cox. And I've just got two numbers for you, Coxsmith. Two. Mm. Do you want to know what they are? I thought there was three digits. True, but two two numbers. 50 mm. and 6. 50 mm-hmm. and 6. 50 mm. and 6. Origin Maybe. 1, it's in the books. New South Wales. <sighs> it's good sound. It's the scary good sound. thing, mate. The scary thing is that New South Wales didn't score for the last 10 minutes. It could have very easily have been 60 to 6. That would have sounded delicious, although I'm going to say 50 to 6. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. Mm, 100%. Look, we didn't do a pod after the New South Wales team was named. Um, I know we talked briefly about the Queensland side. The general feeling from us, and you can listen back to the uh, episode we did 237, was we were pretty happy with this team because it had match winners, it had strike power, and had enough up front, even with the back rower shortage, to um, hopefully hold Queensland. We didn't just hold Queensland, Coxsmith. We utterly destroyed them. And Mm. before we get to the three-headed hydra of Trebojevic, Latrell, and and Teddy, Mm. a big takeaway out of this for me is that our forward pack was good, but it wasn't utterly dominant Ooh, wasn't superb no it did, but it didn't need and, and the thin thing is that they didn't need to be which is an interesting look at, at how this series might unfold because that's where queensland i think they thought they might get us yeah look i think the tone was set very early in the game and then I'll, I'll full disclosure here i didn't see it all believe it or not um <laughs> because i had a job yesterday and it went into a little bit of overtime and oh, I was leaving okay. the city at about 10 past seven. Really? I got home. Um, I got home. There's a bit of traffic. I got home just before half time, but I listened to it on the radio. Mm. Um, and it was a bit, a bit of a weird one because I understand that, uh, especially in the first half, you know, Latrell and Turbo were taking some of those hit ups that forwards would, would naturally take. So, you know, I believe I believe the centres um, did a lot of work. Um, mm. You know, and they also did some awesome work as a back as well. Uh, so yeah, the forwards didn't really need to be um, supremely strong. I mean, look, the thing with Queensland as well is they lost probably or arguably their best front rower in the first uh, quarter of the game mm. in uh, Christian Welsh. Um, that's taken nothing away from from New South Wales, mate. They uh, they did a good old fashioned number on Queensland last night, they pulled their pants down and went to second base. Um, <laughs> I was it, further than that. But um, it was uh, it was on like Donkey Kong last night. You you talk about the opening minutes, but it was the opening set. Teddy, two hit-ups. Tommy, mm. two t- hit-ups. Mm. They did four of the first five hit-ups in the game. Mm. And it was almost yeah. like a sign to Queensland, we are going to run you around and you are gonna not be able to take a breath or you don't want to desperately take a breath because that's what we did to them. And as the game unfolds, okay, yes, we put 50 on them and that might get mentioned a few times. So if you're a Queenslander, I apologize for this podcast, but I don't. <laughs> we just never gave them a break. And, and that's why I brought up the forwards because we didn't need our forwards to be, you know, play to their top level of intensity or in, Intensity is a different, probably not the right word, but we didn't need to, to get that roll on and rely on that push through the middle to dominate him. Cook looked mm-hmm. like he had a lot of time. He didn't run that much, but when he ran, he looked very, very dangerous. And what I like about that from a New South Wales point of view is that we're not bashed. We haven't come out of Origin 1 and the forward pack's just going, man, that was a, that was a war and we've got to pick ourselves up for game two. It's quite the opposite. Mm-hmm. You know, when the backs are doing what they're doing, which was just play rugby league, which Freddie, 
love your work. That game plan was majestic, um, to use your word. Mm. But the Ford pack has, has some bullets left in it for game two because we're not expecting game two to be a similar scoreline or the similar style of football. No. I don't think Queensland let that happen. But, mate, what I love about that performance from New South Wales is we pressed go, the play or whatever word you want to use, and Queensland just could not hit pause. They couldn't. Yeah, there, there wasn't much. I mean, look, they even delved into their grubby little little bag of tricks last night as well, mm-hmm. um, which we'll cover off later, um, and didn't work. Um, no. New South Wales kept their mind on the job. They could have very easily have, have spiralled into the game that some of the Queenslanders wanted them to play, and that is to try and get square and, you know, niggle and stuff like that. Yep. But New South Wales were much smarter than that last night. And, and I think... Um, you know, uh, that, that's the best performance from a New South Wales team that I've seen in probably 18, 17 or 18 years. It was emphatic. Um, it was demoralising for Queensland. Um, they'll be scratching their heads today. Don't believe any of their rhetoric and their spin, mate. They'll be scratching their heads to go, to go on WTF, um, what just happened to us last night, you know. Um, mm. I think you know it'll be they won't they won't want us to do the same thing to them again in in Queensland. They probably won't let it happen to that effect. But I think when a team gets rolling like they like New South Wales were last night, it's very hard to pull the brakes on. Um, so you know it, it'll be it'll be a cracking game the next game, um, and you know the series is alive and well for for Sydney, which is. You know, the some, oh, some are we skeptics. playing in Sydney this series, are we? We are. We're going to finish oh, okay. up in Sydney, mate. Which some skeptics have um, have said that was the plan all along. Yeah, you know, to make it a, a live game, but it may not be a live game in um, mm. Game Three. It could be a dead rubber, um, because if New South Wales do another number like they did last night, then you know, where all we're playing for then is three nil and a bit of pride. But look, to save to, origin, hat- Coxman, to save origin because it's already dead. I, I'm sure I've seen mm-hmm. something come through from Queensland in the last ten hours that origin's dead again. Because you know, you yeah, just, well, that's just the way it goes when when Queensland. Hats off fa- to plastered. Freddie and, and his whole coaching staff. That mm. you know, there's a fair bit of coaching that's going on in that in that team um, to get. You know, I know that there was some. There's definitely some um, chemistry that uh, from from club players coming through, but to get it to look as slick as it did last night. You know, there's some there's some coaching going on there, and, and I'm really happy for Freddie. Um, you know, the job's definitely not done, but it's a really good start. Um, and you know, if you go through the team, the New South Wales team, other than the guys that got very minimal minutes, everyone played well, played really well. You know, yeah. um, Nathan Cleary, I think, finally really stood up as as a new, the New South Wales halfback, and um, will probably take a lot of uh, confidence out of that game. Luai had a had a great, um, you know, not not I, w- I wouldn't say it was a superb uh, debut, but it was very very good. Strong did what he but what he do, did, just like he does in clubland. He hit the talented players outside him with early mm. good crisp ball from the first yeah. party through of the night. That's all he has to do. He didn't have to reinvent yeah. the wheel. That's yeah. that's the thing that I sit there and watched his performance and go mm. ten. 10 because That's you did what exactly needed. what Freddie needed. He wanted his yep. best players getting the ball. And with due respect to Jerome Luai, in that back line, he's not the best player. But he can make yeah. those best players even better. Oh, absolutely. Beautiful role. Beautiful role. Uh, Latrell had one of the better games that I've ever seen him play. Um, he was, you know, he had some pep in his step. He was full of life. Turbo was just phenomenal. Next level. Um, so good. You know, he, he is... And I think they said it in the broadcast last night or maybe somewhere else. He can be anything, that mm. kid. He, he's still very young. I mean, he's a monster. He's 6'3", 6'4". You know, he's 105, 106 kilos. He's a big mm. body. He can be anything. Um, and he's tough. And He's tough. Oh, he's him. tough. That's yep, the thing that I like about him almost the most is that you, you come about, back from how many times he's done his hammies and he just yeah, goes at 1,000 miles an hour. It's brilliant. And goes better each time. Yeah. How was how was your boy Tyo? I mean, I know you didn't want him picked. Um, oh, gee, it, this it is a, this is this, okay, okay. Here we go, kids. I've already dealt with a few of these in a WhatsApp group today. 
I don't, mm. and I'm sure Queenslanders are the same. I don't understand New South Wales fans who we get the result we want. The mm. team on the field does it. And then it's like, I will pick apart the team to try and figure out. I'm not picking them apart. Them it. No, I'm not picking them apart at all. I'm just merely saying that you wouldn't have picked Toto if you well, were the chief selector. If we're going to be perfectly frank and honest, he still can't catch the white the high ball on his wing. Did it? What did it matter last night? Like I well, said, Xavier Coates matter. can't catch. How so was that, that helps. How was that scramble though on that on that one play when in the 76 yeah. minute when yeah. we're up 50 points to six and we try and stop him getting another try? Brilliant. Yeah, that was brilliant. Um, I love you, Brian Toto. Toto with his with his uh, great. meter reading and his toughness and Ado Car again. He, he just he didn't do everything that he could last night. And, you know, I think Peter Sterling, who I, who I rate less and less as a commentator every time I listen to so him. I rate him. Lately, I like him. I like him. Yeah, I, I don't at, lately because, you know, I, I shouldn't actually pin it on Sterlo. I, I am liking him less and less as a commentator. But someone said last night that, you know, um, that New South Wales will have shown Queensland everything they've got. I totally disagree. I totally disagree that Queensland have seen everything that New South Wales has. Um, they played a particular style last mm. night uh, and there's more to it than that. Um, and that was my point at the start of the show. We didn't have to play in the trenches last night. We didn't have to. Mm. No. And we beat them no. by 40. And, and I think we you'll see that. Can play the, another way. I think you'll see that over the weekend with how many players back up from New South Wales. Um mm. You know, I'm not expecting Nathan Cleary to back up with his cut, um, but I do expect, well, I think probably Liam Martin, To'o and Luai will back up for, for those guys. Um, I think you'll find um, Jake and, and Tom, you know, depending on how Tom pulled up with his hammies, but they'll probably back up. So you're 100% right that they aren't bashed up and they'll be ready to go uh, for, the, for the next origin. And by the way, I got a call up to the next origin. Oh, you're going? Believe it or not, yeah, <laughs> I'm actually going. So. They're letting you in Queensland it's, again, eh? That'll be. Uh, I've been stuck on. I've been stuck on um, 51 games for nearly two years. So uh, that's true because of the COVID last year. Yeah. Mm, so I did one last year. I did mm. one game. So that gave me the 51. Mm. So so it should be good. Um, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to the next one uh, because it's a, it's a rare opportunity to jam it down the Queensland's throats, Queenslanders' throats in on their, you know, their real their real home turf and their uh, uh, their cauldron, so to speak. Um, so I I think uh, I think it's a really good opportunity and and trust me, Freddie will be playing on that. Um, mm. That'll be. You know, well, he mentioned in the presser he he openly said and it was a. A really good insight into the way he's tuned in this series. He goes, mm. well, we've won one game, great, but we haven't won in Suncorp for three years. Now, the, the key point in that is that in those three series, he said, well, have won two of them. Mm -hmm. Yet he's pinpointing the fact that we haven't got the job done yep. the last three years at Suncorp. I love that. It's not like, oh, we won yep. the series, who cares? He's going, no, yes. this is what we have to do. And, mm. you know, you take it, take a little look at the way, I guess last year's series is what it was and congratulations, Queensland. But if you go back to the two before, and Freddie brought this up as well, he said, well, we've won every, we've won a game every series running away in a lot since he took over. So for him, that, that focus is always, you know, the Townsville things, the Townsville thing, we knew it was never going to happen in New South Wales. There was no way that was going to be allowed. Thank you, Queensland government, paying 8 million bucks to get beaten by 44. I do appreciate that. Um, but Freddie's going, this is this is the game. Game two is the game. That's the one. We take well, that. It's, and... it, it's generally the most important game, mm. you know, um, and they've all got different importance for different reasons, but generally game two can, can decide the series. Uh, well, it can every time. Yeah. Um, and it'll just depend who wants it more. And I, I look at this New South Wales team and I'm, I'm, I'm not getting carried away. I, I'm, I understand what Queensland are capable of when they're on, but I look at this New South Wales team and, and I just, I'm looking for, you know, there's a, there's a couple of little low lights for me last night, but not many, 
and, and, I, and I look for chinks in the armour. And right now, there, there, there ain't a whole lot. Um, that can change with an injury or two or a suspension. Yep. Still, there's two two weeks of club football to be played before the next Origin. Teams mm. like get so together. Yeah. And it's a short preparation. What do you think of our bench? Haas was good. Um, Paulo, again, I think from a forwards point of view in a game like that, when you're rolling through them, when they make those changes, all you've got to do is just keep things going. You don't have to come in and make a massive impact. So I don't look at Haas and I don't look at uh, Paulo and go, they were outstanding and they were game changers, but mm. they kept the they kept the role going. Um, Liam Martin was a good little soldier, basically got told, go after Munster and went after Munster. Good boy. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit it, later. Uh, yeah. I, I, White, just on Liam I'm surprised Martin. he got minutes in the, at really at the end of the day. I, I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with you definitely on Haas and, and Paulo. I'm not sure uh, they, you know, they played their best games, but maybe they didn't need to. They just needed yeah. to keep that momentum up and the, and the tempo up. Um, Liam Martin, I think, will be replaced by Crichton for the next game. And I know that Freddie is loath to change or winning, but, but you know, fact is Crichton's a better player uh, yeah. at this point in his career. And I think... Um, I think he was rorted to be um, to be suspended no. for what he got suspended for. Yeah. But again, we could talk about that for an hour. We don't have that luxury right now. No. Whiten, I was just on one of Whiten's first touches. Um, he went sideways, and he's been doing that for for Canberra. And I thought, here we go again. Everything other than that uh, it was out, out on the right hand side. Everything other than that, I think he he did what he needed to do, and um, yeah. yeah, hopefully he gets the confidence from that. Um, to take that to his club. I think level. he still needs two big games for Canberra, like to, mm. to because if Pappy comes back next week, mm. Freddie wanted to use Pappy in that role. Sure. Um, if he sure. if he proves himself, and remember, Pappy's not playing this week; he has to play the week after. So I don't I don't think he'll get picked. But no, um, I, I don't think I don't think he's going to get picked in in Origin this year, Pappy. But I yep. think Crichton will, and I think yep. Radley's done himself out of out of. Well, Maybe he hasn't done himself out of it, but someone's done him out of a fair bit of money and opportunity. But he'll get his opportunity. And Tarek Sims, great performance. Oh, great performance. And again, he, he followed the script. He didn't have to play him for 80. Yes, we're ahead yeah. by 40 at that stage when he comes off. But um, the only player that I will say, good defensively, but just never really saw the ball, Cam Murray playing on that edge. That's the one yeah. thing that I, I didn't love about his use was because he's so good at getting those, um, and I know it's a cliche in regards to him, but that's what he does, um, those quick play the balls. When he's not running the ball a lot, you're not getting that. We didn't need that mm. last night, and he looked after mm. Cleary really well. Um, yeah. But as you were saying, Crichton comes back in. The performance of Sims was so good, I'm almost like, well, whack Crichton on the right, and you play uh, Murray off the bench. Uh, I like the fact that they only used uh, Jake early on in that front row role. I was surprised he didn't yeah. play earlier in the second half, but again, the di game dictated that we didn't need to bring him back in. And I like the yeah. fact that Freddie just didn't go, okay, you just go out there and the game, it's a different kind of origin will be suited to him more than, so Murray in a game last night off the bench would have just killed it. Mm -hmm. um, and I just like the fact we have sort of Jake back on the bench, ready to come in at, at a moment's notice and fill that, that kind of spot. It's it's a nice feeling to have. And look, we, we're not going to get... Um, we're sitting here and we're happy because last year was embarrassing. Oh, absolutely. So we can sit here and enjoy ourselves. It's, it's allowed, yeah. NFL fans. Just know that. Because um, yeah. there's some Queenslanders that are stinging this morning. And there's some Queenslanders oh, yeah. that are sitting there going, hang on, maybe we did have the worst team in origin history last year. We still won. Mm. But, mm. Um, you know, it's there's a, I don't know. And we'll get to Queensland now, I guess. Um, it feels like it's not a case of what can Queensland do to win game two. It's what would New South Wales have to do to stuff up game two? It does feel like that after a performance like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Look, it was a very one-sided performance, you know. Mm -hmm. And and I, and I think you can what you can read into that is that Queensland, um, New South Wales were much hotter on the night. It'll le it'll level out. I yeah. mean, Queensland, you know, and it pains me to say it, but they're a better team than forty-four points. Um, you know that they got. They got blindsided a bit last night, I think, with the pace that New South Wales played at. Um, I think the hard track, the hard, dry track played right into New South Wales's hands. 
Uh, it didn't slow the game down enough mm. for Queensland to be all that happy with. So in, in one way, playing in Townsville suited New South Wales, and um, which is great because, you know, the NRL got paid $8 million for it or the New South Wales Rugby League. Yeah. Uh, and the Queensland Rugby League got paid $8 million for that, um, for that display. I, 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 I got to be honest, I think Capewell worked well as a fill-in man. He's not a full-time centre for mine. And, and Queensland need to find one. Um, and if not, they need to make one. Uh, someone like, um, right. you know, someone like Coates is, is probably, you know, better on the off wing. there. Waste is on the wing. You're probably better off putting Corey Oates on the wing. Well, um, the guy who should be on the wing is Dane Gagai because he's not a defensive centre. He got exposed well, that's right. gigantically again last night. They went after him. Yeah. They absolutely yeah, went after and, him. And I thought it was a missed opportunity to have Brimson in his team at fullback. And, and you know, someone um, someone has either he told wasn't fit, though. Green. What was what was he doing in the team? He couldn't he couldn't run the moment he got out there. Brimson. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is with Val Holmes is he's convinced that he's a fullback. Yet 90% of the people in the general public that follow rugby league are convinced he's not. Um, I'm so part of the 10%. It, you think he is? I reckon he's... In that in that team, he's a fullback. In that uh, he's yeah. like North Queensland team, he's a fullback. He has to be. Yeah. Well, I, I disagree. I, I think I think Brimson is that more dangerous as as a fullback. Caelan Ponger is obviously. North, the, I said the, North Queensland team. I said North Queensland team. Okay. What what I'm saying is is I think I think Brimson should have been the fullback last night, the run on fullback, unless that injury that you speak of was real yeah. and, and it wasn't just uh, perceived. Um, but no, he, he was his leg was strapped and he couldn't he he was struggling. Okay. He came on to spell Harry Grant and he was struggling. Yeah. They need right to do it. something about their, their centers. Um and yeah. uh you know their their, their forwards are, are are good. But in say I mean Fotoaka last night was outstanding, I thought, in a losing team. Yeah. Uh it was hard to put down. Um you know, what's up with Papali? Or Papali? Well, he'll be back. Well, I, the, we won't go into it, but I don't know how the rules have changed in regards to players getting origins counted because I thought it only happened if you had an origin counted if you got suspended just before origin. Papali got right. suspended like last month and he somehow had that game count. Um, but he'll be available. Um, okay. Joff and That'll Gary be better be for there. them. He's, he's gone. Yeah. He's had his chance again and he's just, he doesn't make a difference. And they, at origin level, if you're going to come on, you've got you've to have a bit more of an impact than that. That's, that's last like, night. Queensland have to have some impact from the bench, and they did. Yeah, I, I like what Joe's was. doing. I like Joe what Joe's doing in Clubland, but it, it, there's all, there's something always silly, often in his game. You know that that jump on on oh, who was it Tedesco or whoever he jumped on and didn't mm. he didn't even look at the didn't even look at the ball. He was just watching the player, uh, and that's what Luai fired up about. Um, but yeah, mate, look, I, I I think they need to hit the reset button. Um, but in saying that, you know, Queensland had some brilliant grubby moments last night, didn't they? I mean, yeah. how Cameron's how Cameron Munster goes from, you know, kneeing a bloke. I mean, he got he sent off him. a couple of years ago in a grand he final for him. much the same thing. He's got form. Oh, got no, form. but he's such a he's such a such a larrikin. We love him. Mm. He's he's definitely got form on the board um, for that, and I can't believe he hasn't been suspended at least for got one round for. Yeah, and he's fine. he came out in the sheds and basically said, "Well, he did say he said, oh, if I wanted to kick him, he wouldn't have got up." Mm. Now I said to you before we started the pod, I I struggle to find that less uh, divisive or uh, inflammatory comments in a post match interview than what Toby Rudolph said about going on Norley's and um, picking up, basically picking up. <laughs> he got fined yeah. for that. Mm. Yeah. Like, look, I I I oh. I'm. There was a few. There was a couple of things there last night that I, I, I just think to myself, you know, as far as, you know, what we want, we want Origin to be the standout that it is, and we want it probably refereed. I think Sutton had a good game last yeah, night. Yeah, I thought he did. Um, really, there's only a couple of. There's only one one thing there. that he did that I didn't like. Which was the Kyle Felt not going to the bin. I don't understand. Right. Yeah, I Kyle Felt needed that. to go to the bin for that. Um, yeah. For for the hit, hit on Murray, wasn't it? Yeah, that's foul play. Yeah. It's not just a professional foul. <laughs> If professional yeah. fouls get negated if you score the try, mm. generally. Yeah. This was felt, foul play. Felt needed to go. Felt needed to go to the bin for that. And yeah. and uh, so what's happened with that one? Any, fine. Any news no no suspension. Just a fine. So every player that's had weeks off the last month for shoulders to the head, just yeah. must be just going. I don't know what's happening. Except that. Victor Radley. 
go figure. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, look, I, I think I think sometimes Cameron Munster lets himself down. He he gets into this downward spiral, and I, and don't worry if I know it. I'm just some you know punter. Yeah. But if I know it, Freddie and Co knows it. The opposition knows don't it. Don't think don't think for one second he won't be targeted. I mean he's. They'll, they'll needle him now. They'll absolutely. absolutely target him to try and get him to blow up. Because when he don't blows up, he, wonder, he he starts worrying more about kicking guys in the head than kicking the football. And the Liam Martin contact, it was, it was, it was, uh, what's the word, brash or um, his intent was to obviously rile him, but it wasn't. Yeah. Like a, it wasn't like a haymaker to the head or anything like that, or knees in the back, or it wasn't. It was just in that part of rugby league, which. Let's be yeah. honest, Cam Munster, very good at doing himself. Oh, absolutely. Is. And Cam Munster is game. one of the best players, one yeah. of the best players in the NRL. Don't get me wrong, uh, when he's playing. Uh, but Liam Martin was given a job, obviously, to, to go out and see what you can see if you can upset that guy on the other side. With the, up, yeah. with, with the mustache. And um, he did his job to a T. Uh, I think, you know, I, I think if, if, uh, if Cameron Munster thinks that a little knee in the head is going to bother Liam Martin. He doesn't know anything about the kid yeah. uh, because he, he, I think he'd welcome that and, yeah. um, and love it. Uh, he's, he's, he's a tough, tough kid, but yeah, I, I think they're off their game. Um, and I think credit to New South Wales for, for the start that they made, which really just upset Queensland and letting Queensland set themselves into a rhythm. Um, you know, I, I I think I think New South Wales Hold can on. go even better. I know York. Queensland can go better. Yeah. But Nothing I think to do with you, New South Wales can go even yeah. better than they did last night. Um, you know. Two players, or three really, that I think were disappointing, particularly defensively. Mm-hmm. David Fafita, I didn't even know he was on the field last night. Um, he's got to be he's got to, he's got to be a bit of a difference maker without the ball. He's got to find that in his game. He's big enough. He's strong enough. He's agile enough. Um, missing last night. Harry Grant missed a lot of tackles last night. Um, still looked pretty dangerous early, but um, I going to back to your bench question. I mean, it's not rocket what's, science. What's the news with Reed Barney? Is it, well, he won't play or, Origin too. He's he's dislocated his shoulder. Or, oh, did he? Okay. So apparently he's like four to six weeks, best case scenario. So he won't play. Ben, ben Hunt, Hunt needs to be on that bench. Um, the way that Queensland have generally used him uh, he does a good job mm-hmm. when he comes on he, he can he can tackle but yeah. um and tino he was okay but we're at the stage of of where that game is you need, you need a big hit you need a big run you need some you know a effort on effort on effort to try and mm-hmm. turn the tides in that and and they're the three that i think of particularly for theater and tino i just go boys it's not re- it's not relevant to what you're getting played at club level but in the Queensland team, you need to be the best, best forwards when Papa's not there. You do. Yeah. And you last need to night, step up. And last night they weren't. Um, particularly, mm-hmm. as I say, when the, the New South Wales forwards were good, yeah. it, it wasn't like, wow, look at New South Wales mm-hmm. forwards last night by any stretch of the imagination. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Hmm. I just, no, I just so love watching mate, the way we played. Just loved it. Uh, I, look, I, I recorded it, so I am going to get a chance to watch it. Maybe I'll watch it the Savo, I... actually, again. Okay. I've, I've, I've got three games this weekend, so uh, I don't really have um, I have a lot of opportunity over the weekend to watch games, but uh, yeah. other than be at them. So uh, I'll get to it this afternoon or, or maybe tomorrow morning and have a look, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the first half rather than just listening to it on the radio. Do you want to, the stat that I take out of last night, and you know what I am like with stats, but that really surprised me, apart from yeah. 50 points to six, was the possession yeah. according to Fox Sports was 50-50. Oh yeah, doesn't that just blow your head off? And is that for real? Yeah, for real. Um, and what really takes me to another level of just what's going on is that, like the tackles according to Fox Sports were two hundred ninety five by Queensland and two hundred eighty two by New South Wales. What what okay. blows me away? There's one stat that blows me away. Mm-hmm. You know how much I hate structured footy. And it's all yeah. about building towards getting a repeat set and, you know, grinding your opposition down. Yeah. One forced dropout in the whole game, and that was by Queensland. Right. So, New South Wales, they just went for the jugular. It was not about building pressure last night. Once they saw that um, break in the wall, they just ran straight through it, didn't they? 
It was yeah, absolutely. It wasn't about protecting any lead. And Freddie was loving yeah. it in the box. How much you wouldn't have seen the whole game in regards to that, but they had a nice camera in there for Green and for Fitler. Yeah, and yeah, Freddie was that just loving it. Um, mm. I think it's fair to say that Freddie backed himself this time around. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. I think I, I think um, Freddie. Yeah, I think I think Freddie now understands that he shouldn't worry too much about the noise around outside what's going on. Just do what he wants to do and do, you know, he was such an instinctive player that I think that that's the way he's going to have to coach with his own instinct and trust, trust himself. Um, Because he, you know, like I say, I think he he and his team did a, when I say team, I mean, his coaching team did a a damn good job. Um, And, um, I think New South Wales can only get better from here, mate. They really, you know, because another game, it'll come down to attitude, but if their attitude is to to do what Freddie says, which is to go to, to Suncorp and do the business there, um, it'll be a very tough ask for Queensland to, to do much about it. I'm thinking, yep. you know, they'll get, they'll get Ponga back, won't they? If he's fit, there's no guarantee he plays next weekend. Yeah. Let alone this weekend. Well, I think he's even named for this weekend. Mm. So you've no, got that that's same really problem. Their only, that's really their only missing link from the spine. And um, then Papali obviously yeah. is a big in up front. Yeah. Big in. Yeah, absolutely is. And, and you know, I, I think he's got to be worth at least 10, 10 12 points a game. Defensive, um, like you know. stopping. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I worry about Queensland. I like to see Queensland strong because I don't, I don't like to. I would hate to think that the next origin is a blowout like this, you know. Um, I'll take it. <laughs> well, I'll take it too. But if it is, I think that the, the powers of B are going to have to have a look at the, the, the... Three games in Queensland next year, is that what you're saying? The, no, I'm talking about the rules, these six again rules, you know. Um, well, because... in saying that, according to the stats, I haven't, that, I haven't got something on their website right now, but there were like, it was 9-1 Queensland in six against. That's what Freddie quoted right. in the in the press conference. Really? So it wasn't. That's what was really strange about the way football is now versus what the Origin was last night. Is that football beat Queensland last night? Hmm. It wasn't the six again rule that people love to point to that beat them last night. It wasn't that they just conceded yeah, okay. and conceded and conceded. I didn't, I didn't realize that as far as a. Um, so interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Absolutely. I think that wraps us up, Cocksmith. I think we're done, mate. We could talk for about like said, two hours if we wanted to, but oh, absolutely. I could keep talking about how good we went, but that ain't going to make them go any better next time around. We'll, we'll yeah. just have to hope and and put our our uh, trust in the process, you know. Trust the process. Mm. Sounds good. Uh, you know where we are. Give us a rating if you enjoy it, and uh, we'll speak to you next time on Not the Footy Show. Go for it, Cogsmith. Uh, Pep, sir. Not the Footy Show. Show. I love that Jeff. you have to think about what the word is every time. Yeah, you know, every time, every time I do that, I think to myself, I think I sound like Beckham doing it. But then when you put it on the end of the pod, it doesn't sound, sound anything like, like it. it. No, no. Pep, sir. All. all right. Thanks very much, everybody. Speak to you later. It's people's escape. It's people's relaxation, and we need to do everything in order to continue that great uh, tradition of. Birthday boy. Pepsi.